Hey y'all, we are live. I got a fun project this afternoon. We're doing a 4th of July wreath for the door. Okay. Um, I tried it a couple of different ways and I have it just partially started now so you guys can see how it's going to look. Okay, so this is this is a little picture hanger thing. It was actually in the photo area of Dollar Tree. It came with three of these little guys and pictures of people we don't know, right? Come here. There you go. <laughs> so I decided I wanted to make something special out of it. Now, I started with a different wreath form, which I think would look awesome, but I would have had to cut more of these nylon strips. Now, I'm going to show you the back side. These are nylon like you would make um, a windsock or an outdoor flag out of. And I've had it for a while and haven't used it. Y'all, this is so dumb. I don't want to run out. I don't want to run out. Well, in 10 years, I guess, I've not used it. So we're going to run out. We're just going to run out, use it, enjoy it. Okay, so what I started doing along this bottom piece here, which if you turn it this way, this is exactly how I started, okay? It looked just like this. And all I did was take a 2-inch by 16-inch relative. Some of them are a little over 15. Some are a little under 17. So I'm just folding it in half, right? Scoot it up under here. And all we're going to do is make it like a tie, okay? Just pull, okay? So you see how that, how that works? That's all it is, y'all. That's it. So I went ahead so I would know that things are going to work. I didn't want to be on here all day trying to figure out what would work. Heaven only knows how that would end up. So I went ahead and I did red, white, and blue. Wait, <laughs> red, white, and red because the ends. Okay, red. I have no idea how I did this. Red, white, blue, red, white, blue, red, white, and then red again because I wanted red on the outsides. Okay, believe me, there was a pattern. Red, white, blue, red, white, blue, red. Okay, so then looking at it, I was thinking, okay, I've got to cover this back area. And now the dog is going to cry because Ninja Man is on the front porch with the grand girls so I can do my live. And he left the door shut so the dog can't get out there with him and see what he's doing. All right, this is also more of the same strips. Um, two by 16-ish, okay? And we're just going to layer these all the way up, all right? I may have to go put the dog outside. We'll see. We'll see. He can't be without his daddy, y'all. I mean, this dog is obsessed. I'm using... Oh, good. John, would you take Winnie with you? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yes. My evil plan is coming together. So I'm using hot glue. Now, let me tell y'all this. You can use hot glue on a summer wreath if your door is not directly in the sun. But, you know, it's not going to hold up over winter stuff, okay? Not going to hold up. So I'm just putting glue on either side. And I'm pulling it, you know, uh, solid. Not tight, tight. But I'm pulling it straight. And I'll tell you one of the reasons for that is... But these have been folded in my sewing stuff for um, a little while like 10 years and I didn't want to iron them because they're nylon yada yada and I'm like you know what we we can do this we can do this without having to iron it um and I think my wreath my my wreath is probably 14 inches and my strips as I said are 16 now let go stop it okay I am overlapping them a little bit and I'm looking to see if I'm getting them about right. We'll, we'll know in a minute. Come on over. Come on. Now, you know what? This one's a little, little shy of what I need, but it, it's got to work, y'all. It's got to. It's got to. John is a pup's emotional support human. Isn't he ever? Oh, my word. That dog, y'all, if his daddy, if he can't see his daddy, he's done. He's done. He just can't. 
But here's what's funny. When we travel, we get our house sitter to come. And Winston, he, he goes on a hunger strike, but he's, he's typically, he's got all sorts of connections with all these causes in the world. And he does a hunger strike mostly daily. So we're not too impressed with that. But because we never know what he's supporting, what cause he is supporting from Monday through Sunday. So we just say he's on his hunger strike. But anyway, he's very finicky. All right, you see where we're going with this? Y'all see. Okay, it's going to be cute, I promise. Um, so when our, when our um, house sitter is here, our dog sitter, you know, she stays overnight. And she's amazing, by the way. And no, I will not share her. And, <laughs> and she, um, by the time evening rolls around, Winston decides that we have abandoned him and we're never coming back. And he piles up in her lap. But Mila, my dog, who is, um, she's my Velcro dog. I mean, y'all can't go to the bathroom without her. Like, seriously. Anyway. She won't speak to anybody. Now, she, she won't skip a meal. Ain't going to skip a meal. But she's not going to have anything to do with the pup sitter until maybe the end of day two or three. She goes into the EBR, which is appropriate. That's our emotional baggage room. She goes in there and lays down on a bed, and she pouts because she's sure I have moved away like I did 36 other times we've left her. Right? Right. Y'all, it's crazy being a pup mom. Okay. We're just going to keep going. And y'all, you, if you want to know, again, these are 16-ish inches long by 2 inches wide. And I cut 17 of each color. <clears throat> Excuse me. But when I started wanting to fill the wreath with them, which I think would be cute as a button. Number one, it would take a long time to do that for y'all to view. And number two, I needed to cut more. And guess who wasn't in the mood to cut more? Mm -hmm. Me. Yeah, that's right. Hey, Heidi. Hey, hey, girl. My friend Heidi is on here, and we are most likely using some of her uh, gifts she gave to me in this project. I've got them over here and I'm, I'm debating between using the blue truck with USA, well with a flag on it, and um, Uncle Sam. I'll let y'all help me figure that out when we get to that point. And maybe we're using both. I don't know. I don't know. Till we get there, right? Now the back looks right homely, doesn't it? It looks like it looks like the Lee twins, home and ug, homely and ugly. But it's going to get better because I've I've cut something to go on the back. Don't be impressed. It wasn't you know, it's not real fancy. It's a piece of brown paper. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But yeah, if you use something like this, you do not want hot glue during the super hot summer sun hitting on your on your um on your door or in the very very cold winter cuz i mean you know the glue's going to react to the temperatures right um my door is shadowed by a porch it'll be fine all summer long um but i'll be changing it out probably in september for uh one can y'all see what i'm doing let me move it I'll be changing it out in September for a fall wreath. Now, anybody else who's here and hadn't said, hey, hey, give me a shout. Let me know you're here. Because you never know. You just never know. I might go, hey, hey, back. I might. And I mean, when have you had that today? Huh? Huh? Right. <laughs> Marilyn, both be cute or make two and use them on each one. Yeah. A red, white, and blue barn star will be pretty on the front. Yes, it would. That would be so pretty. I gotta load my little gun again. So, y'all, we've got the girls today. 
Ninja Man's on the porch teaching reading and letters, okay? Letters to Wren and reading to Phoebe. Um, Wren has a PET scan tomorrow. Heidi, man, I do wish I could craft darn shoulder surgery. Bless your heart. I wish you could, too. When you when you get fixed and you're ready to, to have fun, you come down here and we'll craft. True story. You know where I live. Miss Heidi's had rotator cuff surgery like I had that took me forever to, to get um, better. But anyway, um... There we go, y'all. So see that now. Now you got to figure. You know this is a reef. It's going to be at a distance. So don't get excited. It's okay. We're going to use some of these um, tumbling tower game. These are a dollar at the Dollar Tree. They are just like Jenga blocks, but Dollar Tree style. Okay. And here's where we're going to start decorating our reef. And, y'all, it's not taking any time. We're going to look at stuff first. Okay, so I have this, and I just thought it was so... Now, this is the reason we covered it in red, so that these sides these sides would, um, would look right, okay? So I'm thinking about that, and because there's bulk here, I'll be popping them up on Jenga blocks. So he's going to stand out, okay? Then, y'all, I have this adorable guy that Heidi got for me. Um, he came on a on a metal stick, and all you gotta do is wiggle that stick, and it pops right off. Now, sometimes when you wiggle that stick, the whole the whole thing comes off, and you see it's just put on with glue. Okay, so I've got stars. We're gonna look at him, see if we want him on there. Hang on. Boop. That's cute, cute, but I got another. I got to put more up there. All right, hold on. So another thought, the reason I quit wrapping is right here. I was going to put him up on a couple of Jenga blocks. Let's go ahead and do that. Come on now. Come out, come out. Jenga blocks, um, or these blocks, are hard to get at Dollar Tree. I have a whole case ordered. And um, that was like April, and we still don't have them. Okay, so this is one look that I'm going for right here. So if you love this, all right, let's see. Nyoka likes it. Michelle likes both. Okay, so she likes the little guy and the stars. Y'all, isn't that just, doesn't that just make you want apple pie? I'm just telling you. Okay, hold on, hold on. So then we have, we could leave, um, I don't know if we'll leave the star here. Let me see if he covers up. He, we could just put more red there, okay? Um, and have him, hold on, I'm trying to pull it down. Boop, and have him like that. That would be cute. But let's see, what if the truck is on here and he's at the very top? That's too much. Or if the truck is on here, hold on, because, okay, Heidi gave me this truck, y'all, and it is like the, one of the hottest items in Dollar Tree crafting. Nyoka loves the stars. Yeah, I think we're, y'all, we're going to have to go with the stars because the other guys, all right, so if we do, because I'm definitely going to use the truck in the um, in the gnome, because I love them. They're my favorites. So you see, I've got this star up high. Oh, Marilyn says that's the one, the truck and a star. Okay, all right, Heidi, jump in here. All right, I'm going to show you all these looks again. This is the stars with this thing, okay? And th y'all, this is just a sign. I mean, usually... Dollar Tree Crafters, we're going to uh, scrape all this off and redo it and all that, but I love it just the way it is. I ain't changing it. Ain't going to do it. Okay, so we got that. Then we've got, and we can scooch him down. We really can. We can put the truck here, and the star can go. Let me just move these out a little bit. 
Come on now. Can y'all see? The star can go there. All right, so which one do y'all like better? Marilyn likes to truck in the star. Um, I got an idea. What if the truck is there? I'm just seeing, just seeing. And the gnome is here. Did you get the stars at Dollar Tree? Yes, ma'am, I did. And all you got to do is just kind of wiggle that piece of metal because it's on a long metal stick. You wiggle that piece of metal and it comes right off. The gnome is too big to go in proportion with the rest of him. So we're not going to do him. We could do the... Oh, hold on, hold on. I got a new idea. I got a new idea. We could do... Oh, y'all, look. Look at this. Okay, we have three looks, and I'm going to quit confusing us. We have just the stars. Um, we have the gnome and three stars. Or we have one star and the truck. So y'all tell me what you think, because I know what I like. I know what I like. I know what I like. They're so cute. And I, I wonder, I brought all this stuff to make a really neat looking ribbon. Um, okay, stars and gnome. We're going to do it, Michelle. We are going to do it. And stay tuned for this guy because he's coming back on another day. Okay, we're going to do it. Just do it. All right, hold on. Well, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to put them over there. We're going to um, wrap this a little more. Y'all, I'm so excited about this project. And I am having a booth at a local event on uh, July 3rd. And I'm debating on, you know, well, I'm not debating on it. I will be making a bunch of Dollar Tree stuff. And selling that plus my Stampin' Up, plus I've got some old 31 stuff, but I don't I don't want to ship it, so I'm not li listing that like on uh, Facebook. You know, I'm not listing it on the 31 used stuff because I just I really don't want to ship it. Um, our post office is here. They are so stinking slow. I mean, you'd think they got paid by the hour. Which maybe they do. I don't know. Marilyn looks good. Heidi, I like the gnome. I think I like the truck in one star. What if you angle the star or put the star more to the side? Yes. Oh, bless your heart. I know it does. It takes a minute to type. It's okay. It's okay. Um. So, y'all, I don't want to mail this stuff. So, I'm going to um, take it to this this craft show, vendor show, whatever you want to call it, and sell my stuff. See where we're, where we're at right now. We got its little skirt on, and now we're going to put this big old guy on here. Now I'm going to put his, I'm going to have to cut this off, y'all. I got to cut it off. Oh, Nyoka, it is messed up all over. Our post office, I'm telling you, the line, it's just, it's ridiculous. And you go in there, and they've got like one person working, 10.30 in the morning. It's not like I go at lunchtime, y'all. I avoid going at lunchtime. No, I'm not doing it. All right. Now, the secret here is I'm going, I need to put, okay, you see how this is pooched up? I want to hide the business side, all right? So I want to put it like this. Okay, so... I'm I'm just figuring where do I want my jingle blocks to go? Aren't y'all sad for whoever's missing this? Because I'm telling you, this this is this is awesome. They are paid by the hour. Yep, thought so. Okay, so I found it where I want my blocks to go. So um yeah, I feel bad for anybody missing this because they're missing a good one. Here we go. I don't know how that's gonna work out, but we'll see. My dog is snoring, y'all. We're gonna put two here. I'm a little worried that it pushes in, but we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. We're just putting a bunch of glue there. The slower they go, the more overtime they get. Yeah, but man, I'd want to go home. 
glue the blocks to the sign. Yes, I was going to do that, and then I wanted to be sure I was on one of these lines. So that's why I came in here and started doing it this way. I don't want to. I don't want to miss a piece of metal. I don't want the sign to be held up by the by the fabric. And if you're late coming, um, this is just nylon, like you make outdoor flags with. And I've been planning to make outdoor flags forever. Nyoka post office opens at nine, lunch twelve to two, close at four. Not much time to catch them. No, it isn't, is it? Okay, so when we get ready to put it on here. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. I'm going to I'm going to do this kind of let me get me another stick going cuz a lot has to happen pretty fast and I got my fan on so that's not good. Okay, I'm going to put glue along here as fast as I can. Come on now. And here and here, and yes, there's glue strings going everywhere, but y'all, that's okay. I gotta stand up, make sure I get them in the center. Yeah, that's centered pretty well. There we go. Who doggies, y'all? Isn't that just cool already? Isn't that just cool? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try a couple more variations because somebody made a suggestion. Put the truck on, and you know what? The truck doesn't have to be in the circle. I was trying to keep, I don't know why, I was trying to keep everything in the circle. The truck can be a little bit off if we want, and the star can be here, or rather this way. I like it better with the truck not about to run over the star. We might could put star, hold on. I mean, I thought I had it figured out, y'all. I don't know. Hold on, let me get some more blocks. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. We might could go star there. Now quit. Star, star. So y'all, tomorrow, um, tomorrow we are meeting for lunch. Um, okay, y'all. Hold on. Move this set over. Just a wee bit. Um... Can y'all even see? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's look again. I'm going to go ahead. We know we want this guy. We know we want him. So I'm just going to knock him out. Um, tomorrow, we are going to lunch at this. It It's kind of a, a place you'd go like you'd take the bridal party or something. It's, it's not inexpensive. But it's not like downtown Atlanta expensive, okay? And it's a buffet, and it's like 22 bucks a person or something like that. Anyway, um, it's kind of neat. Um, Heidi, that's what I meant. Truck on left, star on right, okay? Nyoka, truck and two stars, odd things. Okay, okay. Um... I think this one's going to need a third a third bump up, y'all. I do. But we're going to this restaurant, and Mommy used to love this restaurant. So it's it's it'll be bittersweet going in, you know, because I've never once been there without Mama. Um, but she passed in 08, so, you know, I hadn't even thought about the place in 20 years probably. Anyway, my friend, that a childhood friend, as I've mentioned before, she and I reconnected over crafting. Isn't that cool? And uh, she, we now have a mutual friend that was her friend for many, many years and a new friend of mine since last year. So anyway, um, her mom is uh, part of the luncheon and her mom was like 26 in our neighborhood when we were little kids. And my mom and dad were in their 40s. So, you know, it was 20 years difference there. So her mom's 81 and uh, she's, She's going to, to meet us for lunch, and I'm so excited, just so excited. My brother and sister will be there. Okay, y'all, so now we can get a better feel, except it wants to teeter, but it won't after I glue it. So did, um, Nyoka says, truck and two stars. Heidi said that's what she meant. So what do we think? Oh, y'all, I like that. Do y'all like that? 
I'm going to wait and see. I know your comments are about 30 seconds behind. Um, so the mama, all of us are going to meet my brother and my sister. I met with the mama and, um, and my childhood friend two weeks ago. Um, and I mean, I see my childhood friend frequently, but that's the first time I'd seen her mother in 50 years. It's just going to be cool. I can't wait. Okay, everybody agree on this? I think so. I think this is the way we're going to go. And I got to decide if I want to pop him up just with one block, maybe. Okay, all right. Yeah, Nyoka likes it. I like it. We're going to put some more blocks on here because it was a little wobbly. And that's because the inside of it is... um. Is kind of concave. Well, not kind of. It is. I don't know if you should cover up the flag that's in the truck. Okay. All right. Let's look at it and see if we can do it without covering it up. Okay. If we put this star that far away, glued down, and then the flag on the truck. Y'all, this is glue stick number three, but it's okay. We have plenty. And, and these are cheap little glue sticks. I really think there's, I think there's a difference between good glue sticks and cheap glue sticks. I really do. I do, y'all. I do. I'm going to put that there. Can y'all see what I'm doing? I hope so. Put that there. And these cute little blocks, y'all, I mean, they just, they work in so many neat ways like this, you know? Were we going to elevate it that much? I don't think we were, y'all. And now I did. Okay. Too late. Too late. There we go. There we go. Boop. Okay. Y'all come off of there. Truck, you are. I got to stand up again, y'all. I'm going to put truck kind of driving off a little bit. All right. So he's, yeah. That's what we're going to do. So we can really enjoy where our stars are going. Or as Mama said, my stars and goddess. That's what Mama used to say. And it's kind of like, kind of almost like he's driving on the word America. I know. I'm all in, I'm, I'm all in it, y'all. I know. I know. Hold on. We might need, we do. We need to block up under here. Right, hold on. We can do that. We can do it. Yeah. Probably need two blocks. We'll see. Put a little glue there. Boop. Hot glue and little wooden blocks. And boop. Uh-oh. Come on now. Let's not get crazy. Crazy truck. Now it's wiggling because this is fabric behind it. Okay? So y'all, here we go with that. Okay, you like it? I think it's so cute so far. Let me show y'all, show y'all this way. See what you think. It looks like a big old uh, medallion, like like you've won something. Okay, um, come on now. There we go. Okay, we're back. We're back. Boop. And I got all these little strings and pieces, but that's okay. We, we don't really, we don't really care. So we can put that guy there and this guy directly on here. I like it. Oh, sorry. This guy directly on here, y'all. Okay. So y'all hear my dog snoring. It's so funny. She's snoring up a storm. She's been begging all morning. That's why she's tired. Because the girls had uh, French toast. Let's see. The girls had French toast. And, of course, that, you know, that involves the dogs, you know. And she had to go roo-rooing about all that. And I, I don't know if she got any, y'all. But where's a rod? Mm. Come on. There's got to be one right there. Okay. Right there. I don't know if she got one or not, but 
She tried awful hard. If she didn't, she, it wasn't for lack of trying. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put this one on. Yes, Nayoka, thank you. Yes, yes, need to do that. And I also got strings from this, um, this nylon. It frays so bad. Okay, that's good. Now we'll put this guy on. And I'm going to just see if we have anywhere at all that we can use a bow. Because, y'all, I really like a bow. I really like a bow. I'll go over here a little bit. All right. I don't want to cover up Heidi's truck. I love the truck. Uh-oh. Why are you wiggly? Let's see. How, i I got to hold it up and see how we're doing. I think we're doing really well, y'all. All right. All right, y'all. Nope, that way. What do you think? Oh, it's still stuck. Okay. All right, now, on the back, which is going to be tricky because... Oh, come on now. This thing had to act silly. Hold on. It's going to be a little tricky because... Um, there we go. I cut the paper and I might I might just have to hang it in order to put the back on it. But we'll see. We'll see. I don't know what's gonna happen, but we'll see. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good, y'all. We're good. Okay, because I really wanted to cover the business side, right? So the plan is the plan is to create just a ridge. So I can kind of have a guide to as to where to cut. All right, so I'm just making a little fold. Thank you, thank you. Because ain't nobody want an attacky door, right? We can't have a tacky door. Oh, hold on, it goes all the way down to here. Okay, it goes this far down. All right, so I'm just pinching along the edge to get this circle, okay? Then I'm going to fold it because, you know, I don't want to have to be cutting all day long. Wouldn't cardboard work better and make it stronger? Absolutely, it would. And here's the deal. I made this decision like two minutes before I went live. <laughs> but yes, cardboard would be a much better backing. Um, even even a, a circle of lightweight wood would be great, y'all. Um, any of that would be perfect. Now, y'all, I'm going to make a decision right quick about the hanger. I've got this kind of twine. I've got a thicker, thicker twine, but I don't think, yeah, I don't have it with me. So, I think I'm going to just make a hanger. Uh, Nyoka, might have to make a run to Dollar Tree to see if our tiny store has these things. Um, yes, Nyoka, and you'd be surprised. You would be surprised. And take a screenshot if you want when I get done so you can show them in the Dollar Tree what you're looking for. Sometimes they're helpful. <laughs> Most of them hate hate their jobs. And, and, I, and I say that with love in my heart because, I mean, some of them do. They just hate their jobs because it's they have to deal with how much is this? A dollar. Well, how much is that? A dollar. What if I buy four of these? Four dollars. And then I'm going to glue it down. But no, I mean, I've had jobs that I absolutely hated and I was miserable. And honestly, my daughter was a senior in high school. Well, no, no, I'm sorry. I take that back. She was uh, probably 10th grade. When I finally had a job, I enjoyed. And I know half of that was because... My family was in order while I was at work. You know, everything that I was supposed to do when I got home had gotten easier. The kids could do stuff for themselves, you know, stuff like that. Now, what you want to bet I didn't get it centered, but it's okay. We'll fix it somehow. Yeah, so for now, yes, this uh, piece of paper is going on the back, but y'all definitely want to do wood or cardboard. You know, you could even do like... um. 
that kind of poster board stuff would be better. Pretty much anything. Anything, but it just looks better on the back, you know, when you've got a little something to cover up the, the business, right? We always want to cover our business. Y'all, it was so funny. I came across this meme the other day, and it's about, you know, places that have a lot of storms. And I had to, I had to post it, and y'all probably saw it if you're on my, if you're on my friends list. Um, it said, so if the news truck pulls into your driveway, talking about, you know, like tornado watch stuff, teeth and bras, people, teeth and bras. Oh gosh, I laughed so hard at that. Because every time, every time you get a tornado in Georgia, they're all like, I seen it. It went right over my house and it blew a cow right smack into my neighbor's yard. It ain't her, it, it ain't her cow. It ain't. Yeah, every time, y'all. And that little video goes worldwide. Okay. I'm gonna just trim this up a wee bit. It's just a wee bit of a trim. Let's go this way. Wasn't it hilarious? I mean, teeth and bras, people. Just all you gotta do is remember that. Just teeth and bras. My daughter and her family are going to see her brother and his family. And we get to keep the old dog. Nayok, I don't shake my family tree too hard. Nuts will fall. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, we're gonna keep her old dog, the dog that has diarrhea. Yeah. I mean, what kind of parents are we? You know, we're like, sure, bring your diarrhea dog to the house. Yeah, I don't even know. Okay, y'all. I am going to hold this up for y'all. But, which way does it go? And this is the back. So it does look better. You know? It does look better, doesn't it? I'm going to put that down because my arm's not that tall. But if y'all want to take a screenshot so you can tell Dollar Tree what you want, it's, um, those are the items, let's see, right there. And you can use strips of, um, red, white, and blue fabric. You don't have to use the nylon that I used. Thank you, Heidi, for my wonderful truck. I could not wait to craft with him. I was so excited. And, um, and for my wonderful gnome, too. I'm just not ready to put him on yet. But here he is. He's so cute. But y'all, I'm going to go hang this on my door and see if I like it. So thank y'all so much for hanging out with me. And um, be sure and pray for our country. Pray for our families. Pray for everybody. Y'all, we need it. All right. All right. Love y'all. And thanks again. God bless. Toodles.